You weren't kidding about the view. About time I finally made it here. You need to take that, Dr. Allen? Oh, my apologies, Kenneth. It's just my daughter can wait. Just your daughter, huh? My mother never found time for me either. What's her name? Your daughter. Eleanor. Well, Ellie. Ah, that explains the elephants. An elephant pointing its trunk toward a doorway is good luck. And Ellie's your good luck charm? Well, it's beautiful. Tell me more about this Ellie. I think it's best if we stick to your story. Please. Sure. Right. I thought about having a good luck charm of my own once. But my girlfriend, let's just say there was a barrier between us. Having a child is a life-altering decision. Too many people take it lightly. Not me. You'll find I don't take anything lightly. I'm a pretty methodical guy. But hey, it was probably for the better. I don't think I'd be a good father anyway. Did you have a good relationship with your own father? <laughs> Define good. Would throwing him down a flight of stairs be considered good or? What if it was after I caught him beating my mother half to death? Would that make it good? There's virtue in protecting a loved one. Good. I thought you'd judge me for that. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help. Do you think about it often? That day framed the rest of my life. I found my purpose set me on a path. I've never really stayed put in one place since. You're not gonna put me in your next bestseller, are you? I read your book on troubled teens and it didn't pull any punches. <laughs> <sighs> Part of the job. Nah, it's fine. I like to write too. Always wanted to be known for something like that, you know? Just drive around, stop off in each state. It's not as glamorous as you think. Hey, you did all right for yourself, Miss World Renown. Why do you think I chose you? Well, that and I always planned for California to be my last stop. Last stop? Why is that? I thought I'd settled down at one point. But Oklahoma just didn't work out. You okay, Doc? Uh, yes. Can you keep a secret? Everything here stays between us. And the elephants. They never forget. Neither do I. It's never just been about writing. That was a pipe dream. My goal evolved into, how can I put this? Getting some action in each state. Some action, huh? I can proudly say that here I sit in my 50th state with 49 check marks in my book. Sorry. I try to like you, Patrice. I really did. If I still had a soul, this would be tough. What is this? Cell. So. Oh, hey, speaking of cells. Don't worry about your receptionist.
She'll call the police. You know all about that, huh? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Please. I don't even know me anymore, Doc. Have you ever heard of the Continental Killer? Should I know that name? That's a good one, Patrice. I was never really fond of that name. I always felt it shortchanged my work in Hawaii. To be fair, they haven't found everybody yet. Now I remember reading something. But, Kenneth, I think you're conjuring. The Continental Killer is a woman. my daughter. What else can you recall about the uh, Continental Killer? From what I recall reading, police believe that she killed other criminals. I take it he's still at large? He is. I don't think I didn't sense that tone shift when you said other criminals chill with the name calling. I have a purpose. If you're who you say you are, I don't understand why you're here threatening me with a gun. Why don't you read that page on Oklahoma? Greg Jacoby, drug dealer. You've heard of him. Cops wouldn't do anything about him, so I did. He was number two. Things really took off from there. I only kill those who wrong women in some way. Rape is here, pedophile there. Started with my dad. Those who hurt women I loved always got it the worst. But how do you know my daughter? She never mentioned me, huh? She had a lot to say about you. Ellie always mentioned you were disappointed she went to a safety school. <laughs> oh, you is definitely no Harvard. That's near Boston, right? Massachusetts, let me think. Ah, number 31. Hugh Ward. Convicted sex offender out on bail. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was no one there to stop the bleeding. Where were you born? What does that have to do? New Mexico. Number 42. Chuck Weeks. Swindled his girlfriend's life savings. Poor girl shot herself a month later. Sadly, Chuck also ended up committing suicide. This is pretty fun, name another. I don't know, uh, Ohio? Ohio. Number 16, Colonel Mustard bludgeoned him with a candlestick in the library. <laughs> oh, come on. Nothing? You don't get the... Doesn't matter, besides it was a hammer anyway. Still doesn't explain why you're here, comparing me to pedophiles and rapists.
You pretend to help people for a living, but you gave up on your own blood. California's best psychiatrist. You turn your own daughter, your own suffering daughter, into fodder for another book. You seeing the problem here? You fascinate me. Sitting here with this beautiful view while your daughter won't see the light of day until she's 50. We tried to help her. You don't know the trouble she put us through. She nearly OD'd three times. So you just turn her over to the police? Your own daughter? It was the only thing left to do. We ran out of options. You were out of options because you waited too damn long to address the problem. I mean, look at this. Who needs this many degrees? Did you even try to raise her? Or were you too busy getting your fourth doctorate? <sighs> Ellie the Junkie was a black mark on mommy's career. So you hid baby no. in the corner. No. You have You know I'm right. This place is a shrine to your guilt. An elephant graveyard. You don't realize it, Patty, but you're evil. And who the hell are you to decide what's right and wrong? I'm the one holding the gun. God, that's a cliche line, but you teed it up for me. That's the most help you've provided all day. You're right, Kenneth. I did wait too long, but not because I didn't care. My biggest crime was having too much faith in my daughter. If I had known the company she kept, I would have turned her in sooner. Careful. You're talking about the love of my life. No, I'm talking about the love of my life. You know, part of me thought there was a possibility today. But it flew out the window when you ignored that call. If it makes you feel any better, you're the culmination of everything I've ever worked for. So I guess you technically did help. I'm a woman. You'd be breaking your own code. True. But gotta go out with a bang world-renowned author, that's major news. Is that what this is all about? How is this helping Ellie? Every time another body is found, the news talks about some vigilante woman killing male criminals. It's me. I'm a man. I'm doing this for them. No. You're doing this for yourself. We're no different. Your session's just about... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, Kenneth. What are you doing? No. No, Kenneth, you only do this with people who deserve it. I don't deserve this. You took Ellie away from me. She'd be dead if I did it. It's like you with your own father. <laughs> nice try. Dig up those old childhood emotions. That's some A-plus shrinking. You're going against everything you worked for. I'm a woman who helped other women. You help for your own damn glory. There's no getting away now. You could have just left your book here and skipped town. You could be visiting Ellie. You're my final puzzle piece. Famed serial killer shoots celebrity shrink. Dr. Patrice Allen, California. Oh my God. You're as vain as you're accusing me of being. You just can't be anonymous. You want your face in the paper so badly. It's okay. I understand you. That's more important to you than Ellie. 
You don't really give a fuck about her. I did everything for her. Then just do it already. You're gonna be thrown in jail forever and I'll never see her again. You'll leave her with nothing. Come on, Kenneth, claim your 50th trophy, but just know this, you are no one. No one is going to care. You're not going down in history. To hell I won't. That's front page news. That, I know what front page news is. That's just noise. Please, just promise me this. If you somehow, someway, see Ellie again, tell her I love her more than anything else in the world. Tell it yourself. Then tell my story. He's your next bestseller. Number 50, Kenneth Barton, California.